We're here at the start of Molten Core Heat 3. I'm playing on my main rogue, Saber Slasher Rogue, this guy right here. And it's our job to Sebaceous Poison and Improved Exposed Armor tonight uh, on all the bosses. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to Poison Knife at the start of the fight with a Perdition's Blade with Sebaceous Poison on it. That's going to get an initial application instantly. Um... And then after that, it's going to auto swap into my Jawbreaker. I got a nice little macro for that. You can find it on the Simon I Show Discord if you're interested in that. Linked below in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube. Also, it's linked below the stream if you're watching it live. Um, five. I'm at five. I'm good. Um... We gotta, we gotta go then. All right. That slice and dice should have been before the other stuff. Need a dispel. Drop that. Yeah, I mean, I was focused on that dispel there. That I wasn't getting. Dispel's very slow. Holy shit. Get one more exposed. Don't have to worry about it the rest of the fight. Yeah, not great. Still in combat. Reboon. 1.6. That's actually pretty close to my best. So, I should have pressed slice before entering stealth on that run up, so it cost me an extra global while we were in there. What do we got? All right, we're fine. All right. And put the buffs back in the bottle. Let me think if there's anything special for Magmadar. There shouldn't be. As long as we have a Fear Ward, we don't need to have our PvP trinket on. Um, I'm just going to have Magmadar targeted from the get-go. We're generating combo points with Honor Among Thieves while the rest of the raid kills this stuff. This raid is very oriented towards boss parsing. This is not a speedrun guild. This is not a, like, chill, relax, hang out, have fun guild. guild. Although, people do have fun. I mean, this is what they want to do, so they group with other people who want to do it. It's figure out how to kill the bosses literally as fast as possible. Which is pretty much the same as get really high parses on Warcraft logs. Okay. Mm, yeah, fire protection, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, I had a curse for a lot of seconds that made it hard for me to reapply the expose when the sebaceous was falling. Gonna see a shadow flame skull if it does drop it goes to me because i'm the other rogue in the raid already has it so it's automatically mine if i get that shadow flame skull which i would very be very happy if that happened shadow flame skull very good
Why not carry? I do have a purification potion. I believe I used it during the fight. I just forgot to keybind it, and after I saw the first one go so slowly, I used I, I used it on the second one, because I assumed the second one was gonna go slow also. We got a fear ward. We're gonna use our uh, chickens, engineering chicken and domesticated attack chicken to try to get a battle squawk buff, which is a 5% increased attack speed, which is very impactful. That's that's a big deal buff, but it's kind of RNG whether your chicken will give you that buff. What exactly heat three entails? You get more loot. The weapons you get have this molten affix, which just makes them look really cool. It has a special glow effect. And um, you have a higher difficulty. Some mechanics work differently. Bosses do a little bit more damage. They have a little bit more health. And um, the main thing is you have to have basically 226 fire resistance on all your characters or they just get killed in Heat 3. Oh, change hat request. Love to see those. We'll pop on a different hat. This is Fear Ward Ready Check. I have Fear Ward. Now I believe we want to refresh my tenors. 10 minute buffs. All right, now it's consume time. There's that, and there's that, and there's that. Boond. Where's the ready check? Okay. Our chickens are going. You can see the orange text is from my chicken missing a lot of times. Or sometimes doing one damage. Ooh, there's a squawk. That's an early squawk. That's nice. Dodged. Miss. 8 damage. 10 damage. Miss. 4 damage. Dodge. Maybe we're going to get another battle squawk. Who knows? I'm just sitting with five combo points up here. Ready at five. Ooh, we want to, yeah, we're on Perdition's Blade right now. All right, eight second timer is going to start after the last. Oh, did they just get another squawk? Oh, shit, dude. That's not in my group, though. 
We only have single squawk over here. Unlucky. Okay, okay, so we want to slice, then enter stealth, then sprint towards the boss as this uh, pull timer goes down. People inching up here. Good exposed armor. Literally can't spend all this energy. Wow, that was a fast as fuck kill. 4.2k while exposing? Holy shit. And we had some really, we had some holy shit. Send me to the entrance. Okay. Well, because I had a dodged in Venom on a 32 second fight, okay? Minus 35 energy, couldn't even dump my energy at the end. It was very unfortunate. Four point two might be better than my previous best Magmadar, even while exposing. This is an insanely fast kill. Now, you might be curious as to why we exposed, did Sebaceous and Expose Armor on Lucifron and why we're about to do it on Gehennis. And the reason is, our warriors can't be trusted to do mechanics. Every week they fail to kick mobs on uh, Sultron and stuff. So it's just like the rogue's job to, you know, do it because our, the rogue players in this guild can actually do the mechanics. Look, I can just get five combo points right now and just idle. Mm -hmm. You know, while you clear out the trash. Yeah, I'm idling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're just idling now. The raid leader literally said they do not care at all if I do damage to trash mobs. All right. <laughs> Back to this, we're just ready for the boss. Let them do whatever they want to do. Let's see. We need 
fire protection, I believe, on this guy. How long did it take you to get Felstragger? It was like my sixth or seventh run. It was pretty lucky. Streamer luck indeed. Honor among thieves for the whole raid? Yep. Actually, we won't do it for Sulfuron and Major Domo. Are we waiting for a potion cooldown so everyone can pop a fire protection? Diamond flask and recklessness from the warriors. Mm, I don't know, dude. I just kill the boss when they say go. This raid is in some ways very chill. Because you just sit around for a lot of the time and read your Twitch chat. 27 more minutes now on Wreck? Nah, dude. Nah, dude, it's five minute cooldown in Season of Discovery. Log out, play a different game? That'd be sick. Wait, dog aggroed? Yeah, they said they don't care how much damage I do on trash. Let's just move over here, because we got to preserve our five combo points on Gehenna's. Fuck is this? All right. Fuck. Never mind. I just knocked something off the table to my right with my elbow. this consume ready check nothing improved yet damn i had a better magma you're telling me i had a better magmadar than 4.2 already Oh well, whatever. Forty, forty-seven. Damn, in game it said four point two. Bullshit. Lame. One of the warriors pressed a cooldown on a dog or something. I'm not sure. Or we're waiting for a Nomorgon helmet cooldown now. I. It's not important. Don't worry about it. We're saving Gar until last. Also, <laughs> we're gonna go do everything except for Gar. Then come back, do Gar. Then do 
Major Domo, then Ragnaros, then Molten Core. Is this parse run or what? No, we actually just like hanging out with each other, so. We just hang out and look at the boss. Talk about our day. You know. Five. Man, I feel like the raid leader may have underestimated the impact of their statement when they told me that they literally don't care whatsoever if I deal damage to trash. I really took that to heart. what it is. What is he doing? He's spinning like a bitch. Maybe that was a threat pull. Yeah, it was a threat pull. I just confirmed on voice. Unlucky for end F. Scorch core leggings still never getting the claw. Never getting the claw. They're sending some people out to get new world buffs mid-raid. I love it. We have a lot of trash to clear. No, I think two people? One or two people. Because we're clearing all the way to Baron Geddon right now. I have never seen that happen in a classic WoW raid. No, wait. I have seen that happen in a classic WoW raid before. It was when I was playing on Nostalrius with Salad Bakers. Their Nax runs weren't fast enough yet, so some of the players would... Um, after Lotheb, they would... Um, they had organized, like, summon out of the raid directly to a Songflower because we had to wait for the healing debuff to fall off of our healers before we could continue doing the raid anyways. So they had coordinated uh, summons r directly to a songflower and directly back to the raid and like the the in you know the in crowd click would like drop raid get summoned get a fresh songflower while we were waiting. <laughs> Yeah. 
It was awkward how it was like not announced whatsoever in the guild. And it is just like, oh, Lotheb's dead. Four people dropped raid. We're waiting. They like randomly join raid again. No one says anything about it. <laughs> Yeah, one, I, I think we've had two deaths. Total, one was Feral Druid on Gehennis. Fan of Nye's proc folk is attacks. Yes, I'm not sure if I answered that already, but the answer is yes. <laughs> so we're gonna clear out basically almost all of this room before we kill Baron Geddon. Because uh, we want to be able to just fight Baron Geddon in the location where we pull him. We don't want to have like a long drag of the boss. Um, That's not good. Because the long drag of like bringing him to a different area... It just adds to the fight time, and it's not DPS time. So it's bad. So we need to take extra care to, like, yoink all of these trash packs without pulling the boss as he patrols around this area. Which is a little bit difficult. And sometimes, the, the wild thing with these lava packs is occasionally one of these fire elementals will just, like out of the blue stand still and cast a spell for 10 seconds and if we're pulling one of them long distance and it decides to cast a spell while it's standing like right there well sometimes baron geddon patrols into that and then social aggros off of the mob that's just standing there and then we intentionally wipe the raid <laughs> All right, what's the buff situation? Uh, I'm not seeing any yet. Unlucky. Okay, also, we have a specific gear set for Baron Geddon and Sulfuron, where we have a little bit higher resistance, so we're not actually relying on the chromatic resistance flask. This allows me to use a petrification flask whenever... Um, I get Living Bomb, and then it just completely removes the Living Bomb, and I don't have to run out and lose DPS. Sigil. Ooh. We might have not had a enchanting sigil active this entire raid. 30 attack power, 30 spell power. That's a that's a lot across the whole raid. They just noticed. Oh, Ra is going, dude. Rogue pull instead of hunter pull. Let's see it. Let's see it. Where's his sprint duration? Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Okay. Okay, we're, we're in the clear. Using Jawbreaker over Skull Flame? Yeah, there's a pretty good reason for that. I don't have Skull Flame Sword. Common mistake a lot of Twitch viewers make is they assume that streamers have every item. I do not have every item. I simply, like everyone else, simply use the best items I own, I actually have.
Don't worry, we'll get it tonight for sure, okay? Where main hand claw, literally never seen it drop across all three of my characters, across all of my molten core clears. One week before it gets hard nerfed, yeah. that's probably what's going to happen. It's kind of like it's kind of like a brutality blade shadow flame sword angle if you want to still be saber slash in going into phase 5, that would be my bet. <sighs> um Okay. Oh, pull that searing totem. Pull that searing totem. Okay. I was panicking. I was panicking a little bit. It's okay. I'm calm now. If you're curious about your rotation gribs, what you gotta do, you gotta go on the Discord. There's a brilliant section at the very top of the channel list called Read Here First. And it'll link you to resources about basic questions like what's my rotation, what's my bis gear, what talents should I use, what poisons should I use. So check that out if you have uh, rotation questions about your saber slash rug. What's reading? I refuse to help illiterate people unless they give me money. If illiterate people give me money, I'll explain whatever you want out of that read here first section. That's how it works around here. Per word or per paragraph, I don't know, one sub per question, I'll explain the question, even if it's in the read here first FAQ section, you know, whatever. Paywalled content? No. I mean, it's either pay or read. Two options. Reading's free if you know how to do it. <laughs> well, where the hell are we going? What are we doing right now? Confused. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. I feel like I should activate my roids first next raid and then Strike of the Scorepoc later. This has been a lot of Strike of the Scorepoc time. <laughs> On these trash mobs. No combo point for Geddon? No, we'll get combo points for Geddon, don't worry. There's more mobs to mess with.
You're both active at the same time, or do you have to pick Roy? Yeah, one or the other, Bean Sack. The fuck is going on? Eh, not too worried. Don't have summon bots waiting? No, I do not. Yeah, got a dragon slayer, but no rend. He's saying. All right, fire protection. This one is a spicy boss. Uh, Baron Geddon is a spicy boss. He has two mechanics that, uh, you know, normally reduce DPS a lot. We're going to do neither of them. One of the things he does is he... Occasionally cast Inferno, and if you're in a pleb raid, all the melees will run out and run away from the boss when Inferno happens and stop doing damage. We're not going to do that. All the melees are going to stay in and just survive the Inferno with high fire resist, defensive cooldowns, and stuff. The second mechanic... Uh, I don't know how many people in the raid are committed to this. I don't know if everyone's petrying, but I am. Living Bomb randomly goes on multiple people in the raid. And it, again, if you're in a pleb raid, what you do when you get Living Bomb is you run away from everyone and then you wait and then you explode and then you go up into the air, then you fall back down, then you go back to the boss. What's uh, What we're going to do is just get Living Bomb immediately petrification flask myself which removes the debuff and then unpetrification immediately and continue dealing damage and ignored it um yeah so we're gonna do none of the mechanics and kill the boss insanely fast that's the plan Okay, I guess we're doing chickens. Alright, well, we made it past three bosses so far. We're approaching the fourth boss of the raid. We used chickens previously on the second boss of the raid, and now chickens are ready again. I have to remember this should switch back into Royal Seal for this gear set.
Alright. We're gonna attempt for more chicken squawks. See if we can get a bunch of squawks again. Do you know if Ice Block works the same way as the Petri Flask for this? I do not know. Will it also remove the bomb, remove the damage to the raid? I have no idea about Ice Block. There we go. Wonder if you can interrupt the lava spawn fireball cast, because he just went straight for my domestic attack chicken and fireballed it. You cannot kick that. See, I don't know why he targeted the domestic chicken. He targeted someone else that time. No squawks yet. Yeah, he just offed a chicken there, I think. Oh, maybe he targeted a chicken. Yeah, see, this one lost its shield. Ooh, there's a squawk. Okay, we're killing the mob. Also flip your chicken trinket. Okay. Okay. Ooh, someone just got another squawk? That's crazy. Kill this thing. Okay. I'm still on Perdition's Blade, that's good. Yeah, we do need to target Baron. Waiting for another pass, I believe. Okay. Now we're out of combat. Here he comes. No! I... Uh, 
too much stuff to pay attention to the sun. I fucked up the sunders. Watching too many other things. That was not supposed to go at that time. Big moves. Didn't get a single living bomb yet. Now he's dead. Three point seven and four K. I mean, I, I fucked up. I, I, I was paying attention to other things and not the exposed timer, so I kind of fucked that up at the start. Alright, they're gonna test. They're gonna test where this boss spawns if you pull him and then feign death and reset it. Yeah, I mean, I had a one, I had a rank one on Baron Geddon last week with like 3.6. This is 3.7 while exposing slightly poorly. And Ra got 4,000, so I mean, he's gonna be ahead of me. If we can get a despawn and then like all position on top of Shazra, it's way better for damage output. And they say when he despawns, he comes back in about 10 seconds and he spawns exactly on the rune. Are we okay to log in? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about other, like, we just didn't get living bombs, so we didn't need to Petri, but, like, if you're Petrying, you can, you can Petri and then remove it one second later. Less than that. We're gonna go regular heat three set, which is a little bit different. I think you want to go in for the reset attempt um, after we're out of combat, like the moment we're out of combat with that the combo point mob. Yeah. I, I, 
I think you don't want to pull Shazra until we're out of combat with the combo point mob. Yeah, we're, we're waiting until we're ready to do the buffies, and then I'll do all the buffies. Buff. Buff, buff. Arcane protection is up. This one this one. Now I should be good. I wonder if I should make the border in the weak aura for the armor thing. Maybe I should make it red instead of green. Red makes me pay attention to it more. When you own the debuff, I should make it red. Right now it's green. Chili. Good one. So this might not work. I like I honestly don't think this is going to work cuz I think someone's going to have a dot rolling or a hot rolling or a whatever. I would say everyone should have it in their mind that maybe the reset won't work and we need to be ready to engage when it's attempted. I think this is not going to work because I think when the boss gets pulled, the whole zone's in combat and someone's going to have a heal over time on them or something. Like, there, there's so many, like, random buffs that could be ticking. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already at five. I'm good. I think you want to avoid heal over times, too. not work. Not gonna forget the expose this time. Parry. Super cool. Love it when ability parries. Didn't do my snapshot for the saber slash. There was no shot that was gonna work. I was skeptical. Alright. 
Yeah, big mistake was I didn't press my temporary attack power bonuses at the start. So that was a big, big L. When you engage a boss in an in a raid instance, it puts the entire zone in combat. Is Ra Saber Slash? Yeah, we're both Saber Slash. Anyone who's actually trying to do damage is Saber Slash. It's much better. Okay, they're doing Golemag, then Gar. No. <laughs> Going, it's it's going to be Heat 3 entire raid, Rastagus. Uh, if you do anything without Heat 3, you can't kill Molten Core. Uh, which is the, like, bonus extra boss. Which has the same name as the name of the entire instance. Uh, let's see. We can go back to this gear set. We were in a special Baron Geddon gear set. Oh, no, we had already switched that out for Shazra. Never mind. I'm really excited. I have the second spec for AoE. Deep combat. Improved poisons. We managed to hit our Heat 3 resistance requirement while wearing four pieces of Dark Mantle and three pieces of Storm Shroud. The whole idea is applying both Occult Poison and Sebaceous Poison consistently on all all the targets on Sulfuron and Major Domo. I'm really excited to see how that works out. Ooh, that's a bad debuff, huh?
again. I'm gonna hit it right now. Okay, Fire Lord coming in. We're gonna clear out all this trash except for the marked square mob. That's gonna be our, like, combo point, rage mob, whatever. Ooh, stunned. Hmm. 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 Crimson Tempest. There we go. Where's my poison procs? There we go. Ooh, yeah, I have to do nature protection potion for this boss because the boulders that fall from the sky are actually nature damage, and I cannot be bothered to move out of them, okay? It's just not happening. How's the exposed armor going? 50-50. I sometimes forget to ex cast exposed armor early enough, and then the sebaceous poison falls off. And, and I forget, which is my fucking bad. This one, this one, this one. No, that's impossible. Hmm. Hmm, we got this, we got that. We need Juju active. There we go. We need this equipped. Okay. About to unboon probably shortly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ready? I feel like I should refresh these. They're getting a little low. Who knows how long some of this shit's gonna take. Zero combos. One combo. Two. Three. 
five combos. Okay, here we go, here we go. That poison knife, I think I was on global when I pressed it. We did the expose anyways. Uh oh, tank dead. This is not great. Vanishing. Okay. Not according to plan. Whoa. Did I have dog aggro or something? Interesting. Oh. Yeah. Well, wait, the boss is dead. Wait, how did they not wipe? Hmm. Oh well. Any sweet loot? Three, four, five items. All right, so they're talking about it. It was some kind of tank fuck up. Anyways, see you next time. <laughs> Quick rebuff. No, let's just kill the bosses and collect our loot. Hmm, my crit rate's gonna be... much lower or sulfuron, so I'm not gonna crit and generate as much energy consistently on these AoE things. So my energy generation is gonna be a little weaker than if I still had 10% more crit. Ain't, ain't no one getting gray parse, <laughs> you, you know. Yeah, a useful thing is like when you're targeting, sorry, what? When you're targeting the boss, there's a big red circle under him and you pull him next to the wall, you can look at the shape of the red circle. And if it's a straight line where like the edge of the circle is, cause he's like up against the wall, you're not in a corner. Uh, he's not in a corner. If you can, it's like right next to, the, here's a spot that's right next to this dark iron node. Um, if you have Gar right here and you look at that red circle, 
there'll, there'll be a very obvious angle in it, right? Like it, it'll go straight line, angle, straight line, and then the rest of the circle being the like outside of it. And that that's like the clearest indicator I can tell when I was tanking it of like, I've got him in the right spot, right? And you see where I'm at with a blue square here. I'd be like right about there. And then Ra would be, I mean, if Ra was the boss, he'd be a little bit farther out, like on the dark iron thing or whatever. And then the rest of the melee would be, I'm moving. Uh, right about here. And then they'd be attacking from behind, and whenever they get knocked back, they might get bumped a little bit, but basically not gonna get bumped out of melee range. And main tank also should not get bumped out of melee range with that positioning. I will go back to the tank spot, yes. Come in from this side and then let him get to you and then you kind of drag him a little bit as we position and your ultimate position will be right about here you see the position now yeah okay oh i didn't ping it i okay well i gotta i was in stealth for a while so i gotta uh actually do some buffies Food buff, chili, this thing. Mm, we're in our gar set. Yeah, it's got to be good gar set. I'm ready to go now. I'm good. Okay. We're going to try to position him a way that I think is very good, but they haven't done before. Ooh, yeah, I need to put my snowball macro there. Do, do, do. All right, Ray's gonna be slightly more chill and uh, maybe we get some good loot still. We'll see. We dropped the Brutality Blade. Oof. That'd be nice. So I think we open with Knife, and then I make... Then I can hit... And having fun in raid on Labor Day? Yeah, 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 I remember. Okay, that was way slow. Now we should be in a good spot. moving. Okay. Hmm. He moved too far. This is going to be a bad spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Uh, I think... If you're too far out of position, you'll get knocked like that, I believe. Uh, that it happened to me once before, and another time I tanked it, it didn't happen. Uh, you know, you get a little bit out of position, then you end up a lot out of position after one knock. Alright, what do we get? Age core leather gloves, obsidian edge blade. Oh, this scorch core helm. Alright. Alright. Alright, we prepared for this. <laughs> Dagger here. Do we need to switch any of the other runes? No. Okay. We do need to sebaceous poison both of the weapons. This one... And this one. Okay. Yeah, that, that strategy didn't quite work the, the way we hoped it would, really. I wonder what the problem was, really. Huh. If I had a video of the tank's point of view, I would I would love that to see. Because he said the first time he got knocked back, he got sent really far. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the positioning is just a lot more precise than I thought. And... Sorry, Ra I missed if you had a kick assigned for me, Simon. Okay. Okay, because I'm going to be trying to fan a lot. Which might make it hard to kick. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. I'm in the... I don't actually have Honor Among Thieves on anymore. <laughs> Back to Dark Mantle. So the goal is to have Sebaceous and Occult on all these mobs. Really high uptime, really good. Okay. Back on the correct helm. Storm Shroud. It's all looking good. Very low armor. Sorry, what? Fan will apply it, yes. We're gonna hope to just have Fell Striker up the entire time. That would really be the most ideal.
Maybe we rebuffing this. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Not a lot of energy generation and... Not a lot of fell striker proccing either. This shout, I'm not petreating it. Ooh, okay, missed that. Wow, this is really not as much energy as I hoped. I'm going to be very curious to see what my debuff uptime looks like. Oh, too slow on that kick. Need to not have this thing showing. Got that. Wow, this energy is... Oh, I have zero attack power at this point. <laughs> Heard a kick there, but uh, my warrior buddy got it before me. I now have five stacks of Sundering Shout. Actual zero attack power. But I've certainly dropped debuff stacks at this point. Like, the, 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 it's not being maintained. The energy coming through is not good enough. It should work better on more targets with Major Doma. This thing being in the middle of my screen when I'm not actually planning on petrying uh, also um, not good. <laughs> Some people relying on a shaman totem, and then the shaman died, and then they also died, they're saying. Let's see, so we want shadow protection. That, did, that really didn't go as well. There were a lot of other things that went wrong, but like, I really did not generate nearly as much energy as I thought I was going to. And I'd be very, I, I'm very curious to look at the log and see what kind of debuff uptime I achieved. Oh, I don't have a Honor Among Thieves thing on. Yeah, absolutely works better as a tank. You know, when you have a 30 energy fan. Um, and you have, like, totally free combo points from unfair advantage.
This should be better. Seven targets, so more chances to trigger Fell Striker, more chances to trigger Storm Shroud with each cast of Fan of Knives. Uh, more chances to critical strike and get focus attacks energy. So this should be better. 97% uptime on both poisons? On all the adds? Really? I, I assumed I dropped like crazy when it started kind of fading at the end there. But apparently not. That's actually way better than I th thought. Shadow and fire. ones today this one literally the worst ever enemies debuffs sebaceous poison wow it is actually insanely good okay what about occult poison error fetching data wow I mean, this one's dropping, so it's never hitting five stack, but most of these... Yeah, that's actually way better than I thought it was. And it should be better here. We just scale off of uh, having more targets. to redo these 10 minutes. What was my... K conflagration. Okay, some people were under fire resist even without the shaman totem dying. That's what we're discovering. Is this Harrogath? Diablo something. Here we go. This one's going to be good, you guys. Trust me. For sure this one's going to be good. Okay? Big trust. Okay? Range pulling threat, cool. Mobs no longer grouped, very fun and cool. Chain fell striker procs, actually fun and cool. Need to make sure I continue auto attacking. 
I'm out of energy cooldowns. Oh, range pulling threat on a mob again. That's just how it goes. Tried to kick that. Failed. Oh, they said everyone on skull. Let me kick that. Change target. Continue AoEing. I have to keep AoEing. This is, this is, I'm, oh, I'm dead. Why, oh, debuff's gonna fall down. I'm dead now. Okay, but up until the point where I died, I bet debuff uptime was really good. I am not happy about range DPS pulling the mobs out of the thing because they pull threat. That part, I mean, I don't know if it's reasonable for them to manage that or not. I don't know if they're AoE blasting or what they're doing, but it is very annoying. Did I sap her? I'm not an engineer, so no. I think my build is still good. Are we going to wipe? Because if we wipe, I, we, I get another go at it. All right, Alexis. All right. Why is it that you think Blizzard, quote, doesn't give one fuck about the common player? Please enlighten us. I would like to know your point of view. Alright, this is where I get the highly deserved Shadow Flame Skull from the Shadow Flame Skull box. Okay, this gear set and this gear set. What even dropped? Yo, I need that. Wait, oh. Yo, that's my bis. I have to put stuff in it. Um. Whoa. The loot went away, bro. I was... Oh, my God. <laughs> Ron needs a second one. Yeah, for different enchant, I assume. Oh, uh, wait, okay. Pass. Pass. Pass, pass, pass. Pass, 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 pass. Pass, pass, pass. Um. Different enchant. That's what I need it for. Um. Tank gear. Tank gear. Uh, I believe I have the boot and the helmet. 
So, no cause to have that. Non-FR good stuff. There we go. You play any War Within, Simon? Nah, dude. We did get a Shadow Flame Skull. That's pretty good. We could still get a Askandar's Right Claw off of the Molten Core. First time I've ever seen it drop, if that happens. All right, let's see. They're now doing stuff. See if we get any of these as off spec or like non fire resist gear or tank gear or whatever. Wait, did we get a response from Alexis about why... Oh, no. Alexis decided not to enlighten us on why they thought Blizzard doesn't care about the common player. Came in here with that zinger and then just didn't explain. I was really looking forward to... Oh, wait. The fact Blizzard charges you money still just shows how much they don't give one fuck about the common person. Nah, we're done. That's not even an interesting troll. Yeah, Blizzard isn't really entitled to provide you a game and update the game for free. That's, that, uh, that's, no, that's not actually how that works. Good try, though. Let's observe the loot window. Eight minutes on this sebaceous poison. Probably gonna have to refresh that. Fresh elemental stone over here. Frozen pizza or chicken nuggies? Mmm, I'd go for chicken nuggies. That would be my recommendation, cat no grass. loot council just I don't know scorched core wait 
Scorchcore Helm. Oh yeah, that's for not different enchant. Off spec, okay. We have different enchant helm. We have off spec tank gear belt. Uh, let's see if we get that glove. The glove is uh, enticing. Yeah, this is just like the officers vote on who gets what and then they decide or whatever. Oh, hell yeah. Scorchcore gloves. Let's go. Trade. 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 Oh my god, trade, trade. I need my off spec and tertiary purpose loot. What? Wait, okay, wait. I think there were three things gloves, belt, helm. Wait. There we go. We did get the skull. It got looted directly into my bag. It's great. Hmm. I wonder how we're gonna deal with 92 durability on Empyrean Demolisher. Actually, that seems totally fine. Alright, somehow we're gonna have to kill Ragnaros here without world buffs. I don't know if anyone's ever done that before. This is a pretty tough challenge. So we'll see if we're up if uh, we're up to it here. Big pog damage. You know, we're all, like, challenged in various ways. Like being challenged by Molten Core. This shit started. There and this and that and um he who was ancient when this world was young. Yeah, I think we're pretty much there. Sanctum and seek to steal your secrets. That purds in the offhand? Yeah, dude, it's got sebaceous poison on it. I'm gonna poison knife it onto Ragnaros's dick and then switch it into Jawbreaker that has elemental sharpening stone on it. Don't worry about it. Now, for you, insects, boldly you 
us at the Tower of Ragnarok. Now you shall see it. Okay, so far so good. Ooh, that's a tank death evasion. Tough scene. They said we got a Giga Blast all these mobs. Okay, so I'm Giga Blastering. Ooh, I might be dying. Running. Nope, we're okay. not really snapshot the saber slash correctly. I forgot about that. Only one of the three stacks had my attack power buffs active. I was just kind of mashing buttons. That might have to be an expose. I feel like the combo points aren't really coming in. I wasn't sure if I could sneak in a... Um, like uh in venom there before the refresh was required snowball back pretty quick suppose reapplied Okay, seems like we probably got it here. Is that speaking too soon? There we go. Okay, anything good? Right claw? That's not good. All right, okay, 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 wrong claw. Why does the thing have to be 2.5, man? Am I ready? Yeah, dude, I'm ready. Okay, which... This is tank gear. This is DPS. This is different enchant DPS. We're really... Um... These are the three pieces we got so far, okay. I 
insane. We're about to get triple legendary off of core here. We deserve it. One saber without my buffs up because I forgot. Suppose properly put up. Okay. That's a expose. This boss is this boss is pretty easy. It's dead. What's the loot? Gross. Well, I thought the loot was supposed to be good. Okay, so we're about to scoop up some more off-spec Scorched Core stuff or whatever, probably. So, I mean, the raid started out okay. I definitely screwed up a couple times on this sequence of, uh, hang on. Non-fire resist good gear. Uh, three of those? Off spec tank gear. No, thank you. Okay, so the belt is tank gear. Night Slayer belt, Night Slayer waist guard. Okay. This one was different enchant helm DPS gear, classic. This one is DPS gloves. On the submerge, do the ads do Armageddon, or do they just suck you in and put a fire puddle down? I'm pretty sure they're casting Armageddon, so when they get low, you then need to be sure you kill them quickly, or else they just one-shot people that are nearby. And there's also a vacuum ability. But if you really, uh, you know, just DPS them down, and they die quickly, then they shouldn't hurt- they shouldn't really hurt anyone, is my understanding. Shadow Flame Skull, so we're gonna have to go get a Black Guard crafted. We already have the Firelands Embers to upgrade it into a Shadow Flame Sword. Should be good.
We'll see what happens. Scorch core leggings for, ooh, minor upgrade. Let's go. We got them legs for DPS too. Okay. We, now we got the glove and the leg. So then when we don't need devil core stupid stuff, we can have other gear that isn't bad. This is just kind of how it goes. At this point, you know, we farmed a lot of molten core. There's a lot of core tier pieces, you know. Yeah, there's an off spec binding too. Sweet. Okay, turn this into tank gear. Just scooping it all up. Scooping up all that gear. We got tank bracer too now. Night Slayer Bracelets. Night Slayer Bracers. We got a, actually like a lot of tank gear now. I bet we could make a way better tank set than we could have made this raid. Tier set, but still no weapons? Nope, I've still literally never seen an Eskandar's Right Claw drop on any of my characters, and literally never seen a core hound tooth drop on any of my characters. Let's go here. I wanted to change this armor tracker. red border instead of green border. That makes it pop more. Okay. I mean, my luck with weapons raiding on three characters every week and literally never seeing any of these is actually just insanely unlucky. Uh, sweet. Okay, I think we're bouncing out of here with... Let's count how many... Hang on. Let's count how many pieces of loot we got. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Um... Ooh, this one too. Okay. Mm, I think that's all of them. Yeah, seven items for various off spec and marginal use case purposes. <laughs> This one we're not going to equip until we get Eskandar's Right Claw. And then when Phase 5 comes out and they nerf Eskandar's Right Claw, we're probably never going to use this item again. <sighs> ah. It is what it is. Two tank pieces. Different enchant... These... I, I'm actually pretty happy we got these. These are good. These, we have uh, agility and chance, like, preloaded to put on those. All right, let's get the, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. 